Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown today. If you guys are getting black specks in your tubs, in your sinks coming out of your hot water faucets, your hot water taps, I'm gonna show you why you're likely getting that. Uh, so let's cut to the video. And if you stay till the end, I'll show you what tools you need to help you repair that and fix it on your own instead of calling a plumber. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys are getting these black flex in your tub, these black specks in your tub, and they're leaving greasy marks, they almost feel rubbery if you pick them up, and they're leaving a residue in your tub or on your sink, uh, I have the solution for you. So I'm gonna take you downstairs into the basement to the hot water tank and I'll show you what the issue is. I will give you warning that when I took this problem, I went to Home Depot, they told me that it was my hot water tank that needed replacing. I knew that wasn't the case. Uh, just so you guys don't get caught buying a new hot water tank when you don't have to. I'll take you downstairs. I'll show you what the flex are from and uh, you won't have the issue anymore. I am in my furnace room. This is my hot water tank. You can see I have these right here coming up and tying into the, the copper. So the inside of this, uh, where are we here? The inside of these have a rubber lining and that's what's breaking down and coming through your, your hot water taps and causing those little flex. So that's what you need to fix. You need to pull those off and, and replace them with new ones. I'm gonna pull them off, I'll cut them open. I'll show you what's on the inside, just so you guys know, but that's, that's your problem. So I've cut this open. If you can see on the inside there, that black, that black rubber, that's what you guys are seeing inside. So that's what you guys are getting in your tub. It's those little specks. So you replace this tube right here and you will fix your problem of black specks coming out of your hot water tank. Hey guys, I hope that video was helpful. I'm gonna show you guys what you'll likely need to fix yours. So this is the existing piece that we took off. You'll need two more of these, two new ones. Each end of these are three quarter inch. Yours are probably the same. What you'll also need is this little shark bite tool. So those teeth inside there are the shark bite. You click this onto your pipe, you push down and that'll release that from your copper piping. And then you'll need a crescent wrench as well to get this off, which is attached to your water tank. This piece is about 10 bucks. These pieces are about 10 bucks each. So you're looking at about 30 to $40 to fix your issue instead of having a plumber come by and spend who knows how much, one, two, three hundred dollars. So there you guys have it. Hopefully it fixes your problem.